So you're thinking of moving to Sherman Oaks and you're wondering, what's it like to live there? Well, whatever the reason that's bringing you to the San Fernando Valley, I'm gonna cover five things you should know before officially moving. So for those of you who are new to the channel, my name's Matt, part of the Hernandez team, and we help people every day buy and sell right here in LA. So if there's anything that you wanna know when it comes to living, eating, sleeping, working, the good and the bad, our team is here to help. We get calls and emails from people every day just like you that are thinking of making a move right here to the LA area and we absolutely love it. So no matter what your time frame is, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, whatever your time frame is, we'd be happy to make it a smooth transition for you. All right, Sherman Oaks, an LA gem where modern living meets a touch of historical peel. Now picture this, a neighborhood that's like a charming old book you found in a hipster cafe, but with sprinkles of Instagram worthy modernism. The area, it dates back to the roaring 1920s, named after, check this out, General Moses Hazeltine Sherman, a partner with the LA Suburban Home Company. Today, strategically positioned in Los Angeles, it's a bridge between the city's energetic core and the chilled laid back suburban vibe. Now that we got a little history out of the way, let's cover some basics. Sherman Oaks is approximately 9.1 square miles and the boundaries are gonna start at Coldwater Canyon, heading north to Burbank. As we approach west towards Hazeltine, it's gonna curve back towards Oxnard again and we're gonna end at Sepulveda Boulevard. Border is gonna continue south on Sepulveda until we hit Mulholland Drive and end as we connect again back to Coldwater. So there's an estimated 65 to 70,000 residents and we're bordered by Van Nuys, Valley Glen, North Hollywood, Toluca Lake, the Santa Monica Mountains, Beverly Crest, Bel Air, and Encino and Sepulveda. All right, so let's dive into one of the prime perks. It's gonna be the unbeatable connectivity to the heart of LA. If you're looking to get the lay of the land and maximize your travels in and around the city, Sherman Oaks is strategically poised like no other. Here's a roadmap. Directly cutting through Sherman Oaks, we have two of LA's main arteries, the 101 and the 405. So heading northbound, take the 405 to navigate to many parts of the valley. The 118 freeway will take you to Granada Hills, Northridge, and Porter Ranch. To the south, the 405 will take you to the iconic west side, like destinations such as Brentwood, Westwood, and Bel Air. If you hop on the 101 towards Hollywood, it's not all glitz. Sure, there's the occasional movie premiere, but it's also a path that the locals take to Glendale and Burbank. Hey, if you're thinking about heading to the beach or possibly Calabasas, just hop on the 101. And on days when you're in the mood for a more scenic drive, don't worry, Sherman Oaks has you covered with routes on Coldwater Canyon, Laurel Canyon, Beverly Glen, Benedict Canyon, and the straightforward Sepulveda Boulevard. A quick heads up, like most LA traffic, it can have its moments, but the variety of roads, the central positioning of Sherman Oaks, it's really a commuter's dream, giving Sherman Oaks a score of its location, a solid 10 out of 10. But after our quick tour, let's get down to the nitty gritty. What's it gonna cost to live here? What's the housing scene like? Now, I never wanna sugarcoat anything, so I'm gonna be transparent as possible, and what I can tell you is it's expensive to live here. In Sherman Oaks, the national average household income is roughly $100,000. And when making a purchase, keep in mind our sales tax is 9.5%, and I know we get taxed heavy. The average cost of living is actually 44% higher than compared to the national average. Now let's break that down into five categories. Energy is 33% higher than the national average. Food, 2.8% higher, that's not that bad. Healthcare is actually on par. Housing is a whopping 27.9% above the average and transportation is 3.2. Let's also take into consideration gasoline that at the time of our filming, the last time I checked, prices were between six to seven dollars. Let's keep our fingers crossed that that actually drops in the next year or so. And an estimated 55% of residents own and 45% are renting. Now Sherman Oaks is rated the number 11th top city out of 110 cities to live in LA. So you're actually picking a really great city to live in. But for now, let's shift gears and let's dive into the landscape of Sherman Oaks. If home ownership is on your mind, expect single family homes to range between $1.2 to $3 million. Keep in mind that traditional homes untouched by developer, that's gonna be between 1,100 to 2,200 square feet. And that's gonna carry a price tag between the 1.2 to $1.7 million range, depending on size and interior finishes. Now the 1.8 to $3 million range is gonna get you a brand new modern home, farmhouse, 
or Cape Cod style home with stunning, beautiful showroom finishes. Now, if you're in the market for a condo or townhome, our price range is gonna start at 500,000 and upwards of a million. Again, finishes, square feet, amenities, and location are all gonna play a huge factor in that as well. Here's what you can expect if you're looking for an entry level two bed, two bath. Starting price to be somewhere around the $600,000 price range. Let's talk a little bit about HOA dues. A healthy complex's monthly dues will range between 400 on the low end and 550 on the high end. And most are gonna cover amenities like water, earthquake insurance, trash, and general maintenance around the grounds. But if renting feels right for now, a standard one bedroom apartment is gonna cost you a pretty penny at $2,100 a month. Of course, again, guys, location, interior finishes, amenities are also gonna play a major factor in the monthly rate as well. If you're looking for a two bed, two bath, those are gonna start between 2,500 to 2,900. And if you're looking for the three bedroom, that's gonna be upwards of 3,000 monthly. Very interesting stat according to Zillow is that over the past year, home sale values in Sherman Oaks have actually gone down two and a half percent. However, when you zoom out over the past five years, the last time that we've seen prices in the $1.2 million range was 2019 to 2021. Now, Zillow, Redfin, and other major economists are all predicting home values to actually appreciate almost 5% in the next year. So that means if they're correct this time next year, we could be looking at values approaching the $1.3 million range. And if you're a buyer on the sideline, hoping that values may start to come down, you may be missing out on a great opportunity. All right guys, now let's talk of some of the things that people in the area love to do. First up is gonna be fitness. The boulevard is full of yoga studios, Pilates centers, CrossFit gyms, high intensity training, and private gyms all around. Actually, not too far in Studio City, there's a brand new Equinox gym if you're into the finer things in life. There's also 24-hour fitness and LA fitness nearby. All right, so for all my food lovers, Sherman Oaks has over 20 plus grocery stores, including the newly built Whole Foods, catering all your fresh and organic needs. And let's not forget all my Costco lovers out there who love to buy in bulk and grab a pizza or a hot dog on your way out. Let's talk about some local favorites. There's the famous Casa Vega, one of my favorite Italian places, Oliva. There's Blue Jam Cafe for brunch and Marmalade Cafe, just to name a couple. Now, you're probably not gonna find a better place that's gonna have a variety of great sushi, Thai food, Chinese, Mexican, you name it, Italian. You can have so many restaurants to choose from. Now, for my night owls, you can choose between over 50 bars each of them have a unique vibe, unique character. Some local favorites include The Woodman, Tipsy Cow, The Local Peasant, Mr. Furley's, and Anejo Cantina. If you like to show off those vocal cords and dive into some fun-filled singing, then we have The Barrel and The Oaks Tavern. They're always a fun time. Let's talk a little bit about shopping and entertainment. The Sherman Oaks Gallery that has food, shopping, maybe you can catch a flick. It has places like Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream, Buffalo Wild Wings, Frida Mexican Cuisine, George's Greek Grill, and P.F. Chang's, among other things you can do there. There's also family fun. Sherman Oaks Castle Park is a great place for not only kids, but adults as well. They have batting cages, mini golf, and arcade games. Let's not forget, there's also Ultra Zone Laser Tag, great for birthdays, they have arcade games, and a good place for kids to just run around. There's also tons of outdoor activities and ways to stay active. The Sherman Oaks Recreation Center offers plenty of things for kids to do, like baseball, tennis, martial arts, basketball, dance, and volleyball, just to name a few. Not to mention, the facility offers baseball diamonds, basketball courts, children's play areas, football field, and picnic tables. There's also some great hiking trails. You can choose from Crisp Canyon, Dixie Canyon Park, and Fryman Canyon, just to name a couple. Sherman Oaks offers a young energy and a feel of urban living while maintaining a close-knit community. So if you're looking for a dynamic blend, you found your spot. So let's switch gears a little bit into safety. The crime rates for Sherman Oaks are somewhat average for LA, and violent crime is about half the national average. However, it is not exempt from crime and petty theft. Let's cover a few stats that I never want to sugarcoat and I always want to be truthful about some hard-hitting topics. According to CrimeGrade.org, Sherman Oaks received a grade of C plus overall, and they broke it down into the following areas. In violent crime, Sherman Oaks received a grade of B plus. In property crime, it received a grade of C plus. And in other crime, it received a total grade of C. Now, what does that demonstrate? 
that demonstrates that actually Sherman Oaks is really on par with the national average. Now, always remember, crime can be a reality everywhere. Staying proactive, however, is the key. Simple acts like ensuring your home and your car doors are locked can be a crucial peace of mind for you. Let's talk about something that's been another hot topic, and that's the homeless population. It's a hard topic to speak about, as we're all humans and it does pain me to see anybody living on the streets. The LA Service Authority this year in 2023 actually called a state of emergency, with recent stats showing a 10% increase with the estimated count to be 46,000 people in LA experiencing homelessness. Although other cities like Chicago and Portland have seen 57 and 20% increases, this indicates that we have a crisis in multiple states and it's only getting worse. Currently, the city and the county are on track to create approximately 8,200 affordable homes this year and have reported placing 22,000 people in permanent homes in 2022. Look guys, no place is without its challenges. Here in LA, homelessness is an issue that touches many parts of the area. Even with its beautiful spaces, it isn't immune. It's just a reminder for us to stay aware. Lastly, let's talk about schools. Education is always something that's on the top of mind, especially parents. So let's get you caught up locally. Sherman Oaks sits in the LAUSD district. Here are some quick basics on LAUSD. It ranks 194th best district in all California, has 516 elementary schools, 130 middle schools, 182 high schools, and it graduates at an 80% rate. The average SAT score is 1080, the average ACT score is 23, and has about 435,000 students. Now, let's cover Sherman Oaks schools as far as ranking. You really want to do your research when looking at schools online, so what I'm giving you right now is pulled from greatschools.org. First up, we have Riverside Drive Charter, receiving a 5 out of 10. Sherman Oaks Elementary Charter received a 5 out of 10. Lewis Armstrong Middle School, 6 out of 10. Ivy Bound Academy received 6 out of 10. Hester Elementary, 9 out of 10. Now I know what you're thinking, 5 out of 10, that may sound horrible, but that may not be the case based on what you're looking for in the school you want your kids to go to. So always make sure to choose a school that's the best fit for you and your kid. All right, folks, that wraps up our deep dive into Sherman Oaks. I really do hope this video gave you a clear picture of what life could look like here. Remember, every city, it has its pros and cons, but Sherman Oaks, it's got a great vibe and it's really hard to beat. Hey, and if you're thinking about making this place your home or you have any questions at all about living here, remember, our team is here to help. Just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We're all about making your transition to LA as smooth as possible. And if if you found this video valuable, don't forget, give it a like, share it, subscribe if you like more content on living in LA. Until next time, my name is Matt from the Hernandez team, wishing you the best on your home hunting journey. Take care.